All right. I'm back here with my offline CNC controller. And we're going to do another test here. I've been able to get some life, so I've been able to move all the axes and have the controls on here, um, use the MPG um, to move things around. And everything feels solid. Works well, surprisingly, for what I've been able to do. Uh, when I say what I've been able to do for my experience level, I should say. Complete novice at this. This build for me has been inspired by Dean Rotifer's build. He had actually um, the same unit here, which I really liked. Not actually having to have a, a PC or Mac connected, you just uh, the USB, which I have here. And so I'm actually going to try to load a file here. Um, it says reset, so I'm going to hit the reset button. Um, please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, I'm going to have to get in front of the screen here because I'm working this one handed. But we're going to load a file from the drive here. And this one, oops, got to hit the page. There we go. Let me just stand up and look down on it. Page, we're going to find the file which is my test. Hit enter. I am going to zero out the axis just in case it says ready. And we're going to hit start. <laughs> That's a beautiful sound to me because the motors are going in both directions. Whereas the first time I tried something like this, the motors just went in one direction constantly. So, let's see. And of course, I don't have a spindle hooked up, and from just looking at this here, I can tell that since that says M3, my spindle power is on, so it would be spinning. But I believe that should say M8, which would mean that it would have sent a signal to start my pump for the water cooler. Which I think is most likely just a setting. And if that is actually not included or I can't figure that out, I will wire around it. Alright, so we have a button right here that says toolpath. Because um, I'm good with numbers. Not as good as some. I'm good with numbers, but that tells me nothing. Toolpath here. What I've done is I've actually um, I'll be using uh, V Carve Pro, and they have a test or a trial program that I'm trying here. And this is one of their trial uh, projects that you can alter a little bit and actually test on your machine just to make sure it's compatible. So we're using that. And it's kind of showing me what it's doing, which is kind of nice. Because this is what actually told me that went one direction and just went the opposite other direction and did not stop. So what I'll do is I won't hold you here and have you watch the next 12 minutes of this actually going through the process of me testing it and everything else. But I'll just kind of post a, a picture of the screen display of what it looks like when it's done. That is an awesome sound to me. Music to my ears. So what this means to me is I've got the, the table built, uh, most of the components on there, most of the structure. This will be the guts of it. Um, looks like at least I can get something to run at least, which is nice. Now to perfect the actual designs and everything that'll come out, that'll be next. But we are well on our way. You guys have a great day. I'm having a, a great day myself. Talk to you later.